In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace all the interior lights on your 2011 to 2014 Honda Astronauta. There are 8 lights in total. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 over there in the rear seat. There's the 7th light in the trunk there. And then there is the 8th light in the glove box. You're going to need one tool and you definitely want to have this tool before you get started on this job. You want a screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver with a very thin tip. All right, the thinner the better and the longer the better. Driver side wiser light over here. So get that screwdriver and you see the light switch from that end. Pop the screwdriver and pry the light out. It comes right out like that. Once you get the light out of the headliner there, we need to undo the electrical connector, which has a tab on it that you can press and pull the light out like that. Once you get the light out, the way to get the bulb out of the light is we need to twist the bulb there. So that pin on the bulb is now aligned with the slot there, just like that. So twist the bulb. Now the bulb is ready to be pulled out of the, the, the light there. We can use the screwdriver for this. So get the screwdriver and, and press on that metal edge of the bulb. And keep, on, keep one finger on the bulb so the bulb doesn't just fly off when it's coming out of the light. Just like that, the bulb is out. Putting it back in is the exact same process in reverse. Or actually even easier. Just put the bulb in slide it into the slot there and once it's in simply twist the bulb to lock it in place now we can put the light back into the headliner it just goes back in one way okay so hold the electrical connector with one finger push the light in click in place everything looks good now let's put it back into the headliner there's only one way it goes in So slide it in like that and press the light and it should lock in place. And take your time with it. You want to make sure there's no fabric getting pinched under the light. Let's move on to the passenger side wise light. And this is essentially the exact same process as the driver side one. Again, get the screwdriver and pry the light out of the headliner. Once the light is out, we need to undo the electrical connector. So hold the light with one hand and with with your right hand thumb. Press on the electrical connector there. Pull the light out. The way to get the bulb out of the light is we need to twist the bulb there. So that pin on the bulb is now aligned with the slot there. Just like that. So twist the bulb. Now the bulb is ready to be pulled out of the, the light there. We can use the screwdriver for this. So get the screwdriver and, and press on that metal edge of the bulb. And keep, on, keep one finger on the bulb so the bulb doesn't just fly off when it's coming out of the light. Just like that, the bulb is out. Putting it back in is the exact same process in reverse. Or actually even easier. Just put the bulb in slide it into the slot there and once it's in simply twist the bulb to lock it in place now we can put the light back into the headliner now to put the light back in it just we need to first connect the electrical connector it just goes in one way so connect the electrical connector make sure it clicks in place all right now let's put the light back into the headliner there See that metal clip over there? That's a flexible side, so that's why it goes in last. Alright, that's in. Let's try out the light. Works everything good. First tool with the passenger side one. So get the screwdriver and pry the lens out from exactly where I'm doing it. There's a clip over there. So 
once that one clip is out, the entire lens just comes right out easily. But the key is to getting that first clip out. And you want to pry exactly at the point where I showed in the video. Once you get the lens out, getting the bulb out is very easy. The bulb is just basically held in place by those two metal connectors there. So just grab the bulb and pull it out. Let's take a closer look at this bulb here. See, this, this is a good bulb. It has one filament inside it. And now to put it back in, we need to make sure that the two metal edges of the bulb are touching the two metal connectors there. So those metal connectors, they do two jobs. I mean, they act as the electrical connection point and also hold the bulb in place. See how that bulb is now held in place. The metal edges of the bulb are connected to the metal points there. Everything looks good. Put the lens back in. First, we're going to put that side with those two clips over there. And then the rearward facing clip, we're going to push that in. We'll push the other one in. Done. Exact same process for the left side one. First, we're going to pry the lens out from the rearward facing clip. Put the screwdriver in there and pry the lens out slowly. All right, you don't want to be too rough with this. You see, once the first clip is out, it's all easy after that. Lens is out. In order to get the bulb off, just grab the bulb and pull it out. It comes out easily. There's two metal connection points over there where the two metal edges of the bulb need to touch. Put the bulb back in. Same process, just push the bulb back in and make sure that both the metal edges of the bulb are con touching those two metal connection points there. Now let's put the lens back in. See th that side with those two clips there, it goes in first. And then you push in the rearward facing clip and then the front facing clip. Done. That is pretty much it. Now, this is a real light. There's two bulbs over there and you don't really have to take the lens out. You need to get the entire unit out of the car. So get the screwdriver and just pry it out. And I'm putting the screwdriver uh, on the side of the light where it faces the front of the vehicle. Be gentle with this. Get the entire light unit out. Once it's out, we need to undo the electrical connector there. That white connector, press it down, pinch on it with your thumb, pull the light unit out. Now before, wherever you put the light unit, make sure there's a piece of towel or rag or something so you don't scratch the lens. That's the front side. The back side, that's where you access the bulb from. It's very easy. Twist it left. And the bulb holder with the bulb comes out. Pull the bulb off. Get the new bulb. Push it in place. You see, this is a simple bulb. has a single filament. And this one's connected, so that's a good bulb. Get the new bulb. Push it in place. Done. Let's put the bulb holder back into the light unit. Sits in, sits flush, twist to the right. And that's it. Let's do the same process for the second bulb. Twist to the left, put the bulb comes out, out of the holder, pull it out. Get the new one, put it back in, same process again. Make sure it's sitting flush. Twist to the right now. And now we can put the entire light unit back into the car. First, we need to connect the electrical connector. It just goes in one way. Make sure it clicks in place. And now let's put the, the rearward facing side of the unit in because it's got those two clips. So that goes in first. And then the front side of the light, just push that in place. That's pretty much it. Now the trunk light, use one finger and slightly pry it out of the 
the sheet of metal over there. And then use your other finger and just press that small tab there. The light comes right out of the, the metal. Now we need to undo the electrical connector there. Pinch on that connector as I'm doing it. Pull the light out while you're doing it. In order to get the bulb off, there's two sides, right? The one side is flexible, the one on the right over here. So that's where we're going to get the bulb out from. So hold the bulb with your left hand. Press the right side one. And then the bulb should come right out. Putting it back in is the exact same process. Put the bulb in on the non-flexible side first. And press the flexible side. Press the bulb in and should lock into that slot there. Done. That is pretty much it. Now let's connect the electrical connector back to the to the light. It only goes in one way, so make sure it clicks in place now. Now there's two clips over there, those edges tabs, those ones that I just pointed at. Make sure those ones are sitting flush in the sheet metal. See how the light's sitting flush there? Good. Now press and done. Let's tackle the glove box one light. You may notice that I've taken the entire glove box out. You don't need to do that. I only did that because I wanted to get the camera in to give you guys a good view. Now, there's a slight gap over there, right where the light connects to the to the glove box plastic there. That's where we're going to put the screwdriver in and pry the light out from. Put the screwdriver in and lightly pry it out, and the light just comes right out. Now, there's an electrical connector there we need to undo. Pinch that electrical connector just the way I'm doing and to pull the light out it's pretty easy now once the entire light unit is out we need to get the bulb off so put one thumb on the bulb so the bulb doesn't fly off when you're trying to pry it out now get the screwdriver and lightly flex that one edge and the bulb just comes right out putting it back into the same process Make sure you support the bulb. Lightly flex that other edge over there with the screwdriver. And that's pretty much it. Now let's connect the light back to the electrical connector. It just goes in one way. Click it in place. And you see that gray cover over there? If it comes off, that's okay. Just make sure when you put in the entire light back into the plastic, uh, make sure it's it's on the light unit. Position the light just the way I'm doing it, and then push it in place. And that's pretty much it. If you like this video, we got a lot more videos made just for your vehicle. So check out the playlist over there. And if you have a friend or family who can benefit from this video, please share with them. Till then, drive safe and thank you for watching.